This is real quickly show you how to import SRT files or subtitles that you can add to a video that you're working with in DaVinci Resolve if you've created those in some other program. I'm in the edit page and I'm gonna right click over here and add subtitle track. You've gotta have your track. Now I need to bring the subtitles in. I'm just gonna right click in my media pool and you've got that option, import subtitle. So I've got mine that I downloaded into my desktop and you can see it's an SRT file. I'm gonna hit open and it brings it right into there. I'm gonna just then click on it and drag and drop it onto my timeline. And you see that it adds it into the individual clips and use is the preformatted DaVinci Resolve subtitle formatting. So to edit this, Click on one of the titles and you get brought into your inspector and your captions. Things that you can change here is I can change my color if I want. So let's change this to yellow. That seems to be a lot of popular ones. I can change the placement. So since there's two people, instead of having it covering this person's face, I'm going to move it up under the transform into the middle there. And then also notice it goes off track so I can shrink it down if I want or what you might have to do with this one is if you go into the captions you can then edit it and you'll just need to look and space it out in order to get it where you want this could be that this is a lot of subtitles so you can actually split it into two if you hit control B on your keyboard it splits that subtitle into two so I can take the first one and have that be the first half of it and then I grab the second one and have that be the second half you'll of course need to nope. potentially play nope. it back and listen to make sure that it's all lined up perfectly with whatever speakers going on depending on what you use to generate the subtitles it should be relatively accurate I'm going to jump back to the track here just to show you a couple more things that you can do if you want to add some drop shadow behind it so that it stands out a little bit more. You can do that and adjust it however you want. You can do a background if you want. You can change the font style into something else and uh, adjust the size again in here if you want and mess around with it. So I'm not going to show you all this. Play around with it and get it how you like it. If you notice when I change it on the one, it does change it on all of them. If you only want one to be a certain way, you can go into your captions here and you have this customized caption. And so what that would do is that would select this particular one that you've got selected and allow you to change it to something else while then not changing any of the rest of them. So that's how you would do that if you have an individual one that you want to be different for some reason, maybe. I want that one to move down where the other speaker is. I'm not sure what's offline there, but uh, maybe you want it to actually move somewhere else. And uh, that's editing and importing for the deliver. Just make sure that whatever one you choose, that you've got your subtitle settings and you're either exporting them as a separate SRT file, which you might not need, because you already got that. But for example, like this, I'd actually want them burned into the video. So I would need to make sure to export them and burn them into the video. And that's pretty much uh, the basics of importing and editing subtitles.